The historic Elliott Street Bridge is in need of numerous repairs, which will force the bridge to soon be closed for several months. Stephanie Mashad has the details on how long commuters will be affected for and information on alternate routes. The Needham Board of Selectmen signed an agreement on April 13th to share the cost of rehabilitation to the Central Avenue Elliott Street Bridge with the City of Newton. A few years ago, it was discovered that the bridge needed to be closely watched due to gaps in the stone arching. Monitor programs were put into place which led to the ultimate decision to repair the historic bridge. Needham has taken control of the bridge design while Newton is responsible for the construction. It is expected that the full closure of the bridge will happen in late June and could last up to six months. We actually had built into the contract an incentive for the contractor that if they finish uh, a certain number of days earlier, they would be uh, eligible for some bonus payments. So the goal would be to shorten the closure time as uh, much as possible so we could see something less than that if they do not encounter any unusual circumstances during the construction. Neither communities wanted to do a complete removal and replacement of the bridge in order to preserve its history and shorten the closure period. Instead, they opted to do a root canal, meaning the bridge will be supported from underneath while workers remove all the soil below the road. A reinforced concrete structure will be built to remove weight off of the stone arches and carry the load of above traffic. This method is estimated to cost about $4 million. The town appropriated $2 million a few years ago to uh, undertake uh, the work for Needham's share of the cost. Newton will be taking the lead, they'll be paying the bills, and then they'll seek a, a reimbursement from us. With the root canal method, it is expected that the rehabilitated bridge will have a 50 to 75 year lifespan, similar to how long a brand new bridge would last for. We effectively are putting a new bridge within a bridge and keeping all of the historic nature. We also found that we could do a number of things. We'd have wider sidewalks for the pedestrian travel across uh, the bridge. We can uh, uh, you know, improve the, you know, the railings and, and also provide better motorist safety from the pedestrians. North and south detour routes have already been identified and posted on the town's message board. Clearly the commuting period is always the most intense uh, traffic period. I suspect that uh, uh, motorists will uh, ultimately find a different route or a, a route that's more uh, amenable for them to travel. We will have uh, message boards up, we will have detour signs posted on the posted routes, but we're also going to have uh, variable message boards out to begin communicating in advance of the closure for people to begin seeking alternate routes. There are a number of options both on the north and the south side that the motorists can identify to try to travel and hopefully if they split them up amongst several of those routes then all of the detour routes won't see the major impact. The construction schedule is expected to be confirmed soon and will be posted on the town's website at www.needhamma.gov. For the Needham Channel News, I'm Stephanie Mashad.